It's nice to speak with you again, Carlos. And this is our next topic uh, in the in the series that we're doing uh, with you. Uh, the topic is analytics applied to demand management. So my first question is, um, can you talk about why have analytics been a buzzword over the last few years? Uh, yes, uh, I I think that in the first stage of uh, supply chain management. Uh, most uh, companies and, and also software providers uh, try to address the uh, classical project uh, uh, problems of supply chain regarding demand management, uh, providing frameworks for make to stock companies with uh, forecasting tools, trying to identify uh, patterns in the past and then extrapolate for the future and then production planning and material planning. And this is usually called the supply chain suite on the SNOP uh, and supply chain software is available. Uh, but after that, uh, everybody start to ask, uh, what is the next question once uh, a supply chain is not a single entity? It's, it's a group of companies from suppliers to distribution channels that to need to coordinate and, and make all these entities uh, work more synchronized to meet demands. Uh, and, and then the answer is uh, this original, this classical framework of uh, forecasting, production planning, material planning, uh, it's uh, a very good start but do not uh, support all the uh, dynamic of the market uh, regarding the change in, in the uh, consumer behavior and the change in, in the competition environment. So uh, uh, a few years uh, uh, since uh, maybe in the 80s, uh, many uh, uh, small companies and, and uh, and universities start to, to develop uh, and bring some algorithms and some mathematical models to address some practical problems on demand management. Uh, improving forecasting approach, uh, trying to improve the replenishment process with the VMI, with the collaborative planning forecast and replenishment uh, framework, and more uh, recently, uh, using uh, some algorithms of machine learning, neural networks, and uh, other approaches to try to uh, refine and improve uh, the capacity to understand demand and the way to, uh, to meet this demand. Uh, and the other, uh, the other aspect is uh, the internet and, and, and the cost to exchange information uh, have go, uh, have been goes down uh, very strongly in the last few years, with, with, uh, which allows uh, to deal with more information uh, with a much lower cost than in the past. So this enable some business case to exchange information, to share information uh, regarding uh, the inventory visibility, the sellout information, uh, and, and try to to use some uh, tools get more data, uh, more more insights from the same data available on the database. And how can this approach add to the current frameworks um, that are currently available? Uh, providing insights. So uh, uh, the, the answer for these uh, questions, uh, I, I would uh, uh, summarize on, on that word, provide insights, provide uh, the capability for uh, softwares not only uh, create uh, uh, fixed exceptions, uh, reports, but, but also uh, create warnings, alerts, uh, and uh, try to uh, refine the results, uh, results of these algorithms. Uh, so this is uh, pretty much the way that uh, uh, analytics can uh, improve the uh, the current framework and also uh, try to uh, boost the uh, capacity of uh, an analyst in a company to uh, to make questions and get answers very quick because uh, on, on on the uh, uh, in a very user friendly uh, let's say 
uh, uh, screen. It's it's possible today with some uh, uh, analytics tools available in the market, uh, create scenarios, uh, cross uh, data, uh, and, and try to get insights. Other important thing that uh, usually came with uh, some uh, uh, analytics approach is try to uh, analyze a huge mass of data uh, and mixing uh, internal data of the company with, with public data available to try to identify patterns that uh, in the past would be very costly to do uh, by not having some uh, frameworks and, and, and a, a lower cost for, for trying to make all these uh, analysis uh, in a short period of time. So th this, is, this is the way that analytics can uh, improve the current framework, uh, providing insights for, for analysts and uh, uh, allowing them uh, to make whatever questions they want they will be able to create these scenarios and analyze these scenarios and try to get uh, some answers for information that usually transactional ERP systems cannot provide uh, uh, by definition. Uh, can you provide um, an example of analytics applied in, in supply chain? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. I think... Uh, uh, Everybody or most of people uh, uh, and listeners of uh, your program uh, have the, uh, had the experience to buy something, some product at Amazon.com, for example. And uh, you realize that the uh, more you buy uh, uh, on, on their uh, uh, website, more uh, the offers will be customized for uh, things that you might like to have. So this is an example of a, a, a technique called market basket analysis, uh, in which uh, you analyze a huge amount of data, trying to identify patterns and match these patterns with the preference and the historical of consumption of each customer. So each customer will have a specific profile that will cross with these rules identified by this kind of algorithm in order that uh, uh, the website, the system, or, or even the, uh, the layout in a grocery store uh, uh, have the, the products organized in a way that uh, influence the demand, that shape the demand based on uh, hidden patterns that uh, uh, this kind of algorithm can identify. Uh, uh, there is uh, uh, today dozens, uh, hundreds of examples of companies that are using uh, this kind of uh, technique of market basket analysis to identify uh, patterns based on the uh, uh, consumption of uh, each individual customers and then create rules that can be applied for each of, one, uh, each of them uh, individually. And, out, and again, uh, this information can be refined uh, based on uh, public data and demographic data in order to target campaigns and promotions uh, uh, based on, on patterns. And, and the most important thing about that is that the raw data for, uh, to use for analytics is the same raw data that uh, uh, was available for many, many years and was used only for the regular uh, statistical process. You can get a completely different information from the same uh, raw data based on the kind of uh, approach that uh, uh, you use over that. Well, thanks, Carlos, for sharing today. Uh, did you want to also provide a brief background of yourself? Oh, yes, uh, my background is uh, I have uh, degrees in uh, engineering and business administration with a master degree on industrial engineering uh, and uh, uh, specifically on operations research. I worked for 50, uh, 15 years uh, as a supply chain manager in the automotive industry. And in the last uh, six years, I have been working uh, with uh, supply chain and an SNOP uh, software and consultancy here in South America.
Thank you very much, Dustin. Hey, thank you.